Gandhi, Gorbachev, Richard Nixon, Colonel Gaddafi, Fidel Castro, Ronald Reagan, and Jimmy Carter. All your favourites. Bloody hell. It's got a massively high score on uh, um, Lemon Amiga. We're going to have to play that at some point. Hmm. Now I'm looking at the... I feel like I've seen the title screen before. Hmm, interesting. Right. Okay, doke. Glad the scream didn't cut to a woman crying. It's just how they're all going to end now. Oh, my God, man. Yeah. Uh, okie doke. Oh, God. Did the stream drop out there? Hang on. Nothing this end, so it was a Twitch thing, that one. That's annoying. Uh, right. Stream did dip, says never. Oh, that's annoying. How weird. Yeah, it's, um, from my end, it's still running, so I don't know what happened there. Oh, the bit rate is through the bloody floor. Shit. Hang on. Oh, even the ad crapped out, says Mentus. Right, I'm going to assume that's Twitch's end in that, stay, that case. Back up fine, says everyone. Yep. Refresh, folks, if you can't. If you can't hear me, refresh. That's some really useful information. Holy shit. It's Nuclear War. This is based on the board game. There's a Nuclear War board game right there. I can't tell. I'm going to say maybe. Oh, God. Somebody summoned another, used some of the dancing monster again. Right. Well, it's got to be manual the second time. Hang on. Or has it? Yes, it knows if it's been streamed more than once. I'm sure it does. Right, hang on. We'll get up a dancing monster before we continue. The bits must be uh, actually cashed in. God, come on. I can do this most Sundays. Here we are. But which one will we have? Hmm. Original monster music. We've had that a couple of times recently. But as it's been asked for, that is what we are going to get. I keep thinking that I should make an emote that is just the actual dancing monster dancing, but you know how the resolutions work on this thing. It's going to look absolutely terrible for most people, so maybe not. Plus, I really like the shuddering one. <laughs> I don't know why I kept the static one and the animated one. Probably because I love them both. I don't know. We did not get Double Dave's song. No. We will get Simmons Dude's song, which we don't have, so... Um... <laughs> I... Oh, God. I nearly pressed for a laugh, the end song, but like you, oh, nobody would want that as their song. It's genuinely one of the worst pieces of media ever constructed by humanity. Anyway, it's time for us to get on and play some bloody games. So I think we're going to play Myth again because I fucking love it. Um, it's much, much harder than I remember, which is something of a problem. But we'll see what we can do. We'll have a quick go at the... Um, Specky one again, then we might have a playthrough of the Amiga one. I don't know. Um, yeah, I probably should save state. Yeah, but right, DC Flare. I kind of don't want to, but. Mm. Yeah, I used to complete it back in the day. Quite so oh, the 16 bit one is great if you completely cheat, have on infinite lives, and just run through it and look at all the crazy stuff. If you actually try and play it as a game, it's dog shit on toast. Absolutely no fun whatsoever. Just terribly paced and designed. Oh, smelly boy, smelly boy myth, 16 bit. But, I don't know what I said, 16 bit. I think it's a meager only, actually. Or was there like a Super Nintendo version? Was that Cans? Oh, I, do you know what? I can't bloody remember. We could poke. I'm, I'm going to try not to poke. I'm, I'm going to see if I can actually play it decently, Enigma. It just has that really annoying thing 
of um, you're doing really well and then you just die in like two seconds. You know what I mean? Oh, it's not. It's not coming up. Oh, yes, it is. There we are. That was weird. Whew. Okay, make sure the sound's working. That should be good. There's an NES version based on Conan. Oh, shit, is that Conan NES game? I always keep missing that. People keep. I think Duke Donuts was streaming it the other day. I know McCall has streamed it in the past. I always keep missing it. So I've not actually seen it to um, go on. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Amiga Square has said, Amiga Myth is still a massive pain in the bum, even with infinite lives. Oh, do you have to do infinite energy then? <laughs> I can't remember. Mm. Gods, I can never get on with gods. You feel weirdly nailed to the floor in it. It's an odd game like that. Right. Programmed by Neil Donnell. Right, we're going to go for joystick, aren't we? Joystick in space. Kempston, thank you. Pavasara Ideal by Edgar's Leapins. Right, we're going to make a note of that, Hershey. Thank you. We'll look that up later. Uh, hang on, I'm going to write this down. Or can I just copy the thing and just copy it? Ha ha ha! Copy and paste. Right. Let's check everything is actually working. Yep, that's looking good. Whee! Whee. That's not good. That's good. I left my heart in hell. Whoop. Uh, do we want to go this way first? Probably not. We want to go the other way, actually, don't we? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Already <laughs> my indecision has nearly destroyed me. Right. Get the fireballs out. Get out. Get the fireballs out. And stay out. Wee. Oh no, wrong button. Oh god, it's that bloody screen you die on for no reason. Every bloody time. Ugh. Bobble! Or bobble, which is when we were in Paris, uh, my girlfriend's wearing a bobble hat and a French man just showed bobble at her. He seemed very excited by it. Right. Oh no. Fireball. Oh, we must collect their noggins. Oh, bollocks. I've totally forgotten that the um, health evaporates. There we are. That'll do us. Let's go back to this. How many heads we got? Only the two. Oh, is my quiz kit showing? Thank you, bird's eye. Hang on. Myth. History in the making. There it is. Good. Done. Thank you. Oh, God. A bastard has appeared. A bastard is dead. We have his head. I did the job. That's what we like to see. Got to get our five baubles so we can progress through time. That's how real life works, everyone. Oh, shit. I don't like the way I'm stuck in there. Oh, that's all right. So I'm going to have an insta-death for a second. Gonna hit the pots if we don't need the health, because you never know. Oop. Bang. The memory of the nicely lost Dark Squad. Oh no, I was reading chat and got zapped. It was my fault. Sweet. How are we doing? Five. Not bad. One. Oh, we flicked him off the screen and it went. 
Shit, I've just remembered there is one at the top. Right. Now nah, we'll do that on the way back because uh, we've got. Oh no, because then you've got to come back down to get the. Oh, oh bloody hell. Let's do it now. Sweet. Please, may I have your skull, Mr. Skellington? Thank you. This looks like quite a Skellington heavy area. Also, pleasingly, there's no fires. How are we doing? Eight? Only two more. I think we might do that here. Oh no! Oh, we just survive. Oh no, we've run out of bloody fireballs. Shit, because I haven't been opening the things. Right. That's exactly what we needed. Good. And more fiery balls. Now we're talking. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, now we're going to end up with too many skulls. But can you ever truly have too many skulls? Sweet. That was good. We could have lost a life there, but we didn't. So we did earlier on, for no reason. Right. I don't really know what's in these. The invincibility heart thing can be useful, I suppose. All right, here we go. Toss a skull to your witcher. I love the animation of the skulls. Totally unnecessary, but very cool looking. This is an amazing spe looking spectrum game, isn't it? It really is. Here he comes. I think 25 to finish him. Yay! Bollocks. <laughs> I've got to go and get some more bloody... Um... Hang on, can we shoot tridents at it? Hmm, no, I don't want to waste the tridents. Yeah, working this part on your own would not be easy. Oh, shit. Not what I wanted, dudes. Also not what I wanted. That is very much what I wanted. <gasps> what the fuck? The film Canary? Robot jocks. I mean, I've got like a Spanish Blu-ray, but that'll do. Ho ho. Dolls? Do I have dolls on Blu-ray? No, I think I, I think I don't on DVD. I didn't bother keeping it, to be honest, because while it was fun, I'm not sure it's something I'd watch again. And the Dungeon Master, I finally watched last week after all these bloody years. Pretty disappointed with it. It's a bit of a, I don't know, it's far more dull than it should be. Such an interesting idea as well. The different directors. But now I want that box set. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I reject your reality and substitute my own. Oop. Right, I think we need this for the next one. It's the Hydra. The Dragon Boy. Shit. Yes, we got him. Wee. Take a key for coming in. And we're nearly dead, which is not so good. God, he can jump this boy, can he? No, pick the health up, you twit. Oh, God, I'm not going back. Don't go back. You can never go back, as Don Headley said. Higgity McSquiggity! Thank you for your sub there, five months.
Ah. Shit. That did not work. Oh, we've got to get back up to the top, haven't we? Yeah. But not right at the top. Shit. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, Eddie Boot, yes. But his science made no sense. <laughs> I've got a magic arm thing, and I understand what it does. So I'm like, oh, fuck, wrong control. Oh, bloody hell. I've lost it, guys. Oops, all right, we're back. No, we're not. Shit, I can't turn around on that platform. Right. I'm going to touch the button so gingerly. No, shit! Okay, this is now a problem. I need to be able to do that to uh, get past. There we are, so I do it. Oh, I don't remember having any trouble with that before. Weird. Ooh. Oh, piss. Yay. Right. Always useful. Oh, bloody hell. Got me bum burned. Come on, health please. Yes! Right. Whoop. If I remember Amiga Square, I had a demo on the ST where he had a different sprite design. The ST version never came out at all, actually. Oh, what do I... Bollocks. Down one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, God. The fantasy strategy game myth. Oh, fuck, I remember that, Fenkirk. That was pretty good. There was a sequel as well, if I recall. Yeah, bloody hell, this is the screen I wanted. Whoop. Whoop. Now, using the power of key, we can compel the door to open. Amiga Square, gifted us up by Daxtron. Thank you, Daxtron. Right, how are we off of these? Oh, we've got bloody loads. Right, good. Wait. Oh, shit. Shit. Just got to be lucky with the run to it now. Oh. Oh, we've got all five. We've done it, folks. It says dying immediately on the edge of the screen. Yep, yeah, perfect. Oh, still lost health on the way out. Oh, bloody hell. Right, we have to run along until we find the magic thing. The symbol of all five, I don't know, blobs. Time blobs. Oops. I think it's through here, if I recall. Nope, it's down one. Shit. Probably not even doing well enough to make the save state bloody count. Got no bloody lives left. Oh, shit sake. You get burnt everywhere. It's like being at a bad market. Right. Yes. Yes. Whoopsie. They've done it. If we can just get to the end without getting hideously scorched, we should be fine. Whew. Oh, that bloody one is being a pain in the arse again. Right, I've worked out you can walk and then yeah, walk back. And Shaken Stevens here will jump to the exit. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, some health will be good. Thank you. Oh, 
Bloody hell. It really is. I'm having trouble with the turnings. Oh my god, we did it. Boom, 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 boom. Whew. I'm actually going to save state now. No, no, we, we will get to the next level. Press T on plate. Greece, 400 BC. Pause the game. That's dangerous. It's next to the reset button. Um, <laughs> right, we've done a quick save. That should do it. There we are. That's good. I think we need export. No, that's, that's a bit OTT. Right. Amiga Square says, when they began work on the Amiga conversion, the plan was to keep the time-traveling youngster from the 8-bit versions as the protagonist. He trotted about the place quite speedily. The decision to substitute him with a trudging barbarian, first a short one, then a tall one, remains utterly baffling. Yeah. He does. He looks like a mutant... I was going to say mutant Cohen, mutant slain, I think, which I think you said earlier. <sighs> right. Yes, I am what, Tom. I should totally do that. Right, here we are. Ancient Greece. Whee! And what are the moves again? Block. Oh, fuck! These little bastards appear. Ah, we survived. It's all okay. Apart from the fact he's back again. Now we have to, I believe. Yes. Nice. Oh, you don't die in the water. Good. Fireballs. Take care of him, please. Thank you. Quickly. Get to Achilles in his heel. Yay. We've got the sack of Medusa's noggin. Right. Now, if I remember... From last time, this has an extra life in it. In the form of a dove. And you must pick it up immediately. I think we got it. We didn't get it! How'd you get the bloody dove? Right, I'm not having that. <laughs> Quick load. Blop. Right. How do we do this dove then? I seem to remember you just jumped it. Break the jar from the other side. Plan. <laughs> oh, Commissar Lude Fang. <laughs> they got us. <laughs> they got us, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't want to save state scum too much, but I really want that bloody extra life. Oh, he has the kneel as well, doesn't he? And what's in that sword? We can disintegrate statues instantly. Do you have to shoot the dove? I'm beginning to wonder that. I thought you caught it, but I think you may be right. Right. We are going to quick save as... No, I think if I go to quick load from list. Yes, there we are. I won't let you name them, which is annoying. Or if you did, I missed how.
Nope, you don't shoot it. Fear not, there is no pigeon violence. Oh, bollocks, there are not coming up. Why is this so ludicrously difficult? Bloody hell! Is it actually... I'm sure I used to get these back in the day. Oh, no! <laughs> right. Yes! You jump twice. Come closer, she says. For fuck's sake. Come closer. Right, right. What is going on here? You literally follow what she says. Because she tells you when to stop by literally motioning, if I remember. What is going on with this? I seem to remember this like, not being a problem at all. You know, oh shit, I've missed it, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Right, great. We can't effectively pause the game by pressing space for the inventory. I should do that more often. Right. Come closer. Come closer. You can only move towards her when she's beckoning. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm doing it backwards. I'm moving towards her when she's not beckoning. I'm waiting for her to finish beckoning. Right. Oh, no. Oh, bloody hell. This is the fiddliest bugger from Planet Fiddly. Right. And he didn't do the second jump. Come on. Controls are generally pretty good. Just the... Yeah, just held it down that time. Come closer. Yep. Come closer. Yep. Come closer. Yep. Come closer. Oh, no, piss! What am I doing? Surely we're getting too close, then. <laughs> DC Flake says, I don't remember this being like this. Yeah. I don't either. This one's Neil. Yeah, it looked the same as the Come Closer. I thought it was more obvious than that in my memory. Come Closer. Neil. It turns out we discovered our name was Neil. To do it while she's beckoning. Nope, we're kneeling. We've got to go closer again. You just explode! What? So we tried kneeling and... Hang on, let's, let's try this while we're here. But if I do that anymore, you die. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta catch her you gotta catch her and then you get basically you get like an extra load of health that's why your health bar's gone weird at the top oh my god so the kneeling is while not motioning apparently right we've learned her language friends god it's like that episode of Star Trek where Picard's stuck on a planet with that guy who only speaks in memes. Nope. We're going to bloody do this. It's going to take forever and we'll all die in the attempt, but... Oh, piss sake. God, I don't, I don't remember this like being fiddly or a problem at all. Right, we're, well, obviously we're going to have to now uh, quit the save. Oh, 
Mm. Nope. Who resisted shit runs? It certainly feels like it, mate. Um, right. Oh, you fucking what? Right. No, the bags were a different thing. Oh, good. So we got her to transform, but I have no idea how to catch her. Maybe she doesn't give you anything in this version. Right, I'm going to have to look this up on the YouTubes, I think. Uh, myth Spectrum. Blah, blah. Nope. In this long play, he gets killed by her. <laughs> no, not happening. Let's check another long play. And in the other long play, she transforms. Fuck. Good God, apparently there's a fan-made game called Myth 2, Return to Hell. Interesting. Uh, right, I'm going to try the third walkthrough. Have I just totally misremembered this bit, do you think? Yeah, this guy. This guy's trying to fight her. That does not work. Maybe she doesn't give... Maybe she only gives you energy in the... Um, bloody 16-bit version. Hmm. Yep, transforms into the monster on the fourth Russian playthrough. <laughs> Holy shit, nobody knows how to do it. Well, I am just going to assume then that we just have to let her go. If you love someone, let them go. That's not a song. Right. Fuck it. Let's continue with our quest to fuck up the baubles. Ha 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 That'll do nicely. That'll do nicely. Right. We've got three of the baubles already on that. Oh shit. 
some Amiga drips. That was fucking useless. They went everywhere. Now, is this the one you kneel down in front of? God knows how you'd know that if you hadn't. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, no, that wasn't right. He's looking at the camera in between. Yay! Oh, it kills you until you've got the bag out. Bloody hell. Have we done it in time? I'm going to take that as a no. Shit. Now we've got the noggin. Probably needed that life, but never mind. We are going to need the, the Medusa noggin as well, aren't we? Oh. Pretty useless. Whoop! Noggin ahoy! Right, now we've got to work out how to get down. Because if I recall, we just dropped down last time and it was an instant death situation. Hopefully there's energy in here, although most of it, I imagine, will be lost. Bollocks. Well. <sighs> Piss. I think I may have gone down the death hole. Yep. <laughs> Fortunately, respawning respawned you in the position of excellence. Right, now I don't know where to go. Do we jump off here? Or do we not jump off here? I think what we're going to do is... Jump! Yes. Uh, I'm just going to quick load, if that's all right with everyone. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, good, good. Right, marvellous. Um, they seriously needed to sort out this bloody death platform's gubbins. Right, we now need to find... wherever the super end of level platform is. It was probably right back at the bloody start or something, wasn't it? It wasn't through there. That was Medusa's hole. Um... Nice. Did I ever play Rex on Spectrum? I don't remember Rex Cloudy up here. Was it good? I'm now convinced myself there's a secret thing in here. There wasn't a secret thing in there. Um, oh my god, that's how you do it. You go back in. Ha 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 ha! Right. Bloody hell. Attack it. No, I don't think you attack these things. It's got to be there to be caught, surely. Hmm. Bag it. I think we've got the... Oh, we do have a bag. I thought the bag had gone. Nope. 
To be fair to him, Steel Throne, he is a time traveller from the 1990s. Or was it the late 80s? About that time. Ugh. We've definitely... Hmm. I don't want to try and shoot it, but I think we're going to have to. No, shooting doesn't work. <laughs> Knock it out the sky! Oh, hang on. Yeah, Simmons do is because they don't know what to do with the... Um, it took us ages to get past that, but now we're here. Oh my god, is it? No. Nope. Nope. I mean, look, we definitely should have caught that there, shouldn't we? Yeah, I just don't think it can be done. We've got plenty of fireballs to piss around with, but I don't think it's going to work. No. No. I'm certain you bloody... Yeah, you do have time to walk up to it. You absolutely do. Hmm. Ah, well. If anybody can get a text walkthrough for this, because surely that'll tell you. Nobody on YouTube seems to have worked it out. But I just remember in the day it being really simple, but there we are. That's probably because I've forgotten all the faff with it. Is myth history in the making for the ZX Spectrum Strife 79? Oh my God, it literally was where we came in. Maybe that's going to happen every time. Oh, hang on. We haven't got the... Bl oh, for... We haven't got the bloody... Oh, my God. Don't tell me they... Ah, oh. Right, we've got to get the symbol of the five things together. It's hidden bloody Medusa's room, isn't it? <laughs> oh, hang on. We can do it this way as well. Le sac magique. This is a little before... Oh, no, you had walkthroughs in mags. Do you see that? You totally did. Those tended to be not very good. <laughs> I wrote a walkthrough once for the Running Man for the ZX Spectrum. A really easy game. Probably didn't need one of those. But I never sent it to Crash Magazine. My dad wouldn't give me the stamp. <laughs> There we are. Perhaps now we can pick her up. I mean, I'm joking, but... I've never played the C64 version. Apparently it's more akin to the Amiga version, so that's probably a bad thing. No. Ah. Ba da bum da 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 Hmm. Okay. Where are we going now? Well, there is the question. And the answer is tape loading land. Scandinavia, 500 AD. That's Voigtgen's Henter. I'm sure there was a 16 bit version of Running Man. I think it was ST0X Diamond. Right, we'll just have a quick save. Because it will be made not to. Yeah, you got an axe this time. And he won't use it. Ah, oh, there we are. You have to kill them 
the, the Viking boys and not get struck by lightning, if I remember. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's a bit of a best of both worlds, maybe, there, Omega Square. We should check it out. Like, oh, God, I'm going to die in a second. Isn't there like a bird that appears, and you have to hit the bird or something? And the bird gives you the fireballs, and then you can get the blob and then escape the boat? Maybe. I am Axeman. You may be trained Vikings, but you're all shit. No, I'm getting struck by lightning now. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a bit flashy, folks. This is true. And not in a good way. Lightning isn't dropping my health. Oh, shit. That must be the 16-bit one, then. Son of bird comes or something. According to the official instruction sheet, the only hint is dove be flight and cause a major coup. Oh, good. What am I doing here? Kaeltis! Thank you very much. Kill him. Forty four months, blimey. Come on. Genuinely don't know what to do on this bit. Apart from enjoy the excellent weather effects. No. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so a bloody bird came and you hit the bird. The bird because it was a pain in the ass to hit the bird, I seem to remember. Yeah, you need something to grab the bubble. You need the fireballs, which you get from the bird. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. What's at the left end of the boat? Just sort of the end of the boat, as far as I could see. Dragon 32. Hmm. Let's have a look. Ah, I've accidentally gone onto the uh, World of Spectrum rather than the site I was supposed to look at, which of course is completely and utterly um, impossible to uh, navigate now due to having one of the worst designs I've ever seen for a website. I, I can't even work out how to search. It's astonishing. Take me to the good site. That's better. Right, what we got here? Uh, Nope, useless. And the same document in Spanish. Brilliant! Fortunately, Girl the Dragon 32, there is a site called World of Spectrum Classic, which has most of the old stuff on with the actual interface that works. Hmm. The shapeshifter transforming into a bird transforms into a monster if you don't do its instructions correct, so I reckon it was that. That would be my guess. Hmm. Well. Yeah, that's it, Strife. They didn't know how to do the puzzle. But we don't know how to do the second bit. Actually pick it up. So there we are. Um, right. What was... Um, did we work out Baloo the Barbarian's game, by the way? What was that? Sorcery! Ah! One of those famous games that I know piss all about. Right.
Finish him. How are they doing this bit then? Do you just k kill Vikings until a bird comes? That seemed like a thing. Oh, there is an extra bit. Right. Okay, that's cool. I don't know where we are now. Oh, I got stuck in the mast. The figurehead. Okay. Oh, InfoSeek was a specific ZX Spectrum search engine. Um, Arcturus. Fuck you! Uh oh. Whoop. They get close, they just carve you up. I'm trying to hit it with an axe. I'm pretty sure you can't. Hmm. Hmm. Not ideal, this, is it? Not ideal at all. Oh! Noble143! Thank you very much for your two year sub anniversary. Attack of the Flickering Rainstorms. Yep. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Arcturus. It's InfoSeek. You wouldn't even if you know what InfoSeek is, you wouldn't think that was a way to search the site. <laughs> it, oh God! What is going on? The flickering's gone crazy. <laughs> I am Lord of all ships. Right, this is not going well. You're just carving up loads of Vikings and not getting anything out of it. Vikings are a bit of a pain in the ass as well. The flashing is really getting on my tits. <laughs> it had enough of it as well. Right. I'm not prepared to go through that all that bloody flashing again without knowing exactly what we're doing. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, wasn't InfoSeek a regular search engine? It might have been. God, there were so many back then. My favourite, of course, was Dogpile, because it just searched all the others. Um... Yeah, this is a good game. It is genuinely a good game. Unfortunately, there's a lot of fiddly bits. We're bloody hitting all of them tonight. Aaron Fielder giving out the gift subs there. Thank you very much. Right, I'm watching this playthrough in the background. Oh, great, the flickering again. Brilliant. Um, they're just carving up Vikings and running about. Having trouble carving up the Vikings. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's no bird. That must be 60 bird only. Eventually, a Viking drops the fireballs. Uh, really? Really? Yeah, why did the Viking have the fireballs? Absolutely, it's weird enough that the bloody bird had them on the 16-bit one, but there we are. Good God. Right, I want, I want to check something. <laughs> Come on, tell me the thing. No, it's not going to tell me anything. Brilliant. Right, I know a way around this. Aha! Right, there's the answer. Hmm. Geeky Chappy says, As a teen, I was always hoping for a game like this. 
So why did I not know there was a game exactly like this? Oh, yeah. Um, Gift from the Gods is vaguely similar as well, but nowhere near as good. Rataranek says I found a speedrun in the specy version where the bird just flies off. Yeah. Wouldn't the flickering damage the monitor? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Son of a twitch, not an old CRT. Right. I'm going to spare you the flashing. That came out different is how I meant it. And uh, just see if I can do this behind the scenes, so to speak. So you will st I would say you'll still hear the sound effects, but they're entirely white noise and they're virtually not picked up by OBS. So um, you will not hear the sound effects. Dum -da -dum. Right, we're running back and forth. We've killed one Viking. Two Viking. Oh shit. I don't know what. The screen flicked and he disappeared forever. Three Viking. Got the fireballs. Just killed three of them and just got it immediately. Barely even lost any health. Right, we're out. Bloody hell. <sighs> Apparently you have to watch a YouTube video and it unlocks it. <laughs> Good God. Right. And now, the pretty place. Ooh, Ooh it's spooky boys. We sort of jump through the spooky boys. It doesn't seem to matter too much. Okay. Don't know if we're going in the right direction or not. I think we probably are, because there's one of these. Bloody troll. Foldy roll. Ooh, okay, we don't go that way. Bounce off the screen like a good one. Oh, that's interesting. What's all that about? We've got knives. I didn't even know we'd picked up. And one of those. I don't think we use that yet. Oh, what's that given us? I don't know. Oh, they gave us the knives. You have to kill the trolls to get the knives. Of course you do. And we just got muddled by some ghosts. Stage is looking a bit Stormlord. Yeah, I get what you mean. And there's the one energy you can collect from that. Ooh, got an inscription of some descript. The arcane scrolls, the Jedi texts. Does the Jedi use MSN Messenger? No, the Jedi texts. Right. I'm going to save this again. Because we haven't died or been majorly hit for ages. Um, oh! Viking funeral. For a lady. Do we use this and call down... Let's use this. Yes! It makes it rain, look! Putting the fire out. And now the corpse isn't going to be burned. Is that a good thing? To use the lightning to bring her back to life. No. Oh, we have infinite shots with that. Oh, piss! She's gone off to Valhalla! And <laughs> we got the key! Okay. Oh, Lambert says, actual Viking funerals were just burials. The burning thing comes from myth. Oh. Well, her planet needed her. Right. Oh, piss. Nidhogg or somebody. Right, I think you need the daggers for that, if I recall. The 
Chelsea Daggers. If I remember, there's actually a distance where you can hit it, but it can't hit you. Nope. Oop. Nope, that must be uh, another Amiga I've left over in my memory. Yay! Well, we've got three blobs. Blob the fourth has revealed itself to the world. Right. I'm feeling we should probably save again now because we're doing far too well. And... Take a key for coming in. Go and fuck up Thor and Odin or something. Got to be this one because we haven't used it. Odin's throwing his jumping jacks at us. Oh, we've exploded. Piss. That was really a way to avoid the reign of Odin. The Odin reign. Oh. No, they won't do the job. Just have standard ones. Yay. Oh, no. Fell off the bottom of the world. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, we made it out. Right, then. Next one, vulnerability. That might be the thing to use. Be losing any more lives. Oh, there is. Thank you very much, on me holes for the raid there. How you doing? I hope your stream went well. Isn't it also true they didn't have horns on their helmets? They were drinking horns. And they were found buried with them, and people just assumed they're off the helmets or some nonsense. Here we go, there's the symbol. Yes, I know we had a raid. We just mentioned it, Dave. Calm down, dear. Dave, are you all right today? It's like you're, you're not actually paying attention to anything that happens. I know it's not that much different to normal, but... Um... Egypt, 3000 BC. I've only got one life left. And it made weird noises and I didn't like it. Right. Dave has terrible latency. Maybe he does. Maybe that is the thing, actually. Maybe he just missed the one earlier. But anyway. Right, what are the moves now? Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. If you test me, I'm sure you're fine. Right. And we've got oh we've got the gun for shooting the mummies. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. Hmm. I think we might be in trouble here. We only have one life left. We do have continues, though, so if we do die, we should be all right. Plop. Right. Are we going to have to shoot it? I don't think there's anything else we can do. Shoot your way into a pyramid. By the way, he gets a free hat. Holy crap, it worked. <laughs> Brilliant. Speaking of one life left, yeah. Oh, yeah, these are four different places you can go to. Um, oh, there's little mousy boys. They don't kill you. I've just discovered. Yeah, one life left coming up. Norfolk Showground. Piss, I've just used my bullets. Um... I think it's probably time we use to continue, folks. Let me start this stage, please. Thank you. We can never play Mudlarks again. Once you've played Mudlarks, Dave, you can never go back. 
Right, we've now got four lives. We are totally fucking saving it again. Quick save. Sha. Right. Oh, got caught a bit by that one. More bullets. Hmm. Oh, what? Spiky boys! Fortunately, we spotted them. Oh, swingy axe boys. Be careful here, we might be all right. Hmm. Oh, don't walk on to the a daft apeth. Oh, and a canopic jar. Had to be done, unfortunately. Piss. <laughs> it's hard to judge jump distance. See, such a leapy boy. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want you facing that way. Yes. Ooh. Bloody hell, that was a fucking experience, wasn't it? Right. We're going to save after each one of these. I don't trust this game anymore. Oh, shit! It's got wise to my, uh, nonsense. Hmm. I feel like there is a puzzle. Look, the mice are running across. No. Yes, yeah, it's becoming dangerously close to bloody Rick Dangerous, actually. No. Okay. Whoever said run, Dicky Birdie, I think you were incorrect. <laughs> Anything on the walls of previous rooms for the pattern? No. Oh! What? Where was that? Bloody weird. We've got the eyeball. The eye of Horus. A wadget eye. Another canopic jar. Ooh. Ooh, bloody hell. That's smooth old swingers. That sounded weird. Right. Can I just point out there was actually a pressure plate under the orb? And the orb set it off. That's rather natty. Right. We've got the eye. I quit saving again. We ended up safe scumming entirely. No, I didn't do anything. Okay. To room three. The Pharaoh's Noggin. Oh shit. Oh, -hoo! we made it. Oh, did we? Oh, bloody hell. Reflexes of a ninja there got us killed. Oh! Oh, there's an ankh there. Ankh is the symbol of life. Do we have an ankh? I don't think we picked one up, have we? No. I seem to remember an ankh was a good thing here. Yeah, they're eating spikes. G one two three four five. That's why the um. Oh, the anchor's here. If I remember, 
this is a very good thing indeed. Notice it wangs, wibbles, wobbles for a while. I think it fills your health up. Then it fills your lives up. Which is super useful. Although, I'll be honest, it does kind of feel like they thought, oh dear, we made the game too bloody hard at this point. <laughs> they literally give you the ankh in this room. Right. Quick save. Go. At least they did something about it, says Crane. Yes, that's so true, to be honest. There's a lot of bloody game designers wouldn't have done. Whoa! Piss! It would have ended up like, um, impossible mole or whatever. Ooh. Okay, this looks like it might be quite trap-tastic. <sighs> Shit on it. We don't have... The one time we need the bloody invincibility hearts. Well, it's fine, because we can go and get our lives back. Okay, that's less fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is actually a problem. Yep, got to leave, come back in. This is a fiddly sold room. Also, we haven't seen any mummies yet. You've got to get attacked by at least one... Right, don't do that. Um, got to get attacked by at least one mummy, surely. Ha-ha! It was easy. A bit annoyed about that weird one with the... Hang on, where's the other orb? Aren't we supposed to get an orb in there? No, no. Oh, hang on. It's a little bit Indiana Jones for this one. Good God. I like the way his hat uh, wibbles along at a jaunty angle. God! Right. Have to go back and get me lives again in a second, I think. Oh, how do we get this one? We don't. Shit, no, we really don't. Shit, I should have gone back for the lives. I don't think we're going to make it through this. No. Oh, piss, he jumps too high. Oh. Right, got canopic jars and four orbs. Ha! It was hell. <laughs> the joke, reader, was on us all along. Right. Oh, now the Wajitai glows. Right, uh, please, Mr. Ank, give us all the health. Oh, it doesn't um, give you energy, it just gives you lives. Sweet. <laughs> right. We've got to be got to be using the wedge when we get out, surely. Sweet. Oh bloody hell. That probably could have gone better, but Oh no, we're gonna to have to go back to that so we can kneel down. Right. We're gonna do a wavy savey davy. Do that thing.
Wait, how is Crouches different in this one? There we are. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Ah, now we get the mummies, right. Oh, the instant death. Oh, fuck me, we're loading it again, right. The bullets keep bloody going through them. It's weird how it says there's three of these. Did we have to pick up three? I can't remember. We've gone bit Brendan Fraser, definitely. Damn you, Arnold Vosloo. Yeah, they're probably rolling for the iframes, actually. Yeah. Oh, hello. Stuart disapproves of this. Right, if we can get one more thing. Oh, the canopic jars look beneath the um, tomb. Okay, that looks like a problem. I don't know what we shoot him with. I'm going to guess that. Um, right, we've got four of these. Got four canopic sweeties. How do we? Ah, oh, there we are. We've got two glowing. Three. Four. Get my sphinx head out ready. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I, feel like I need to do something else to activate it, but the tank maybe. It's about the end of the course what world. <laughs> yeah. You arrive at the end of the game, right? Nothing's happening. front of the sarcophagus yeah this is what we need that's where you get onto the next level have I got all the bubbles no but I think we'll get the last bubble by shooting out the sphinx boy to the right so we've set up all we've given him all his internal organs whoa fuck we just have to leave and we've had that a couple of times you have to leave and come back Oh, you can only fire one of these at once. Well, they cancel each other out. Why, why have you just set me up in the middle of nowhere? Aha! Plop, plop, plop. That won't do shit, will it? Nice. Oh, you get a special little tomb room with the uh, cloverleaf thing in. Right. Here we go. All the bosses of this are mainly you tanking hits with little rooms dodge. Yeah, the, the actual boss mechanics barely exist in this. Right. Oh, uh, uh. That was nice and easy. Well, the last bit. And now, El Finale. Duel with Poe Dameron. The evil angel of time. I'm going to quick save.
because I'd be mad not to. Whee! I'm striking a weird pose. Hurtling across the void of space. Prepare to confront the evil angel of time, Dameron. Or the evil angel of Tim E. Dameron. Where is he then? Fuck. Okay, he's a bit bigger than I remember. Am I hitting him? Or do you have to shoot in the mouth? I don't know. I think you have to shoot in the mouth, if not, it would be painfully easy. Infinite fireballs, mofos. The evil angel of time, who appears to be some sort of dodgy internal organ. Ooh. I'm going to shoot him in the eye a lot. It sounds like fun. It was not fun. I'm going to shoot him in the gob, I think. Yes! Oh no, he's shooting eyes at me out of his eye. This, this seems odd. Hey, hey! Now he's shooting eyes at the, his brain stem or something. What? Out of his tubes, like he would get in um, school dinner livers. Aha! Now he's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> feel a bit like we're kicking him when he was down on the last bit. Fuck you, Dameron, evil angel of time. Well done. Your task is complete. History is restored. And Dameron is banished. Banished? We just blew his face off and made his brain explode. Fuck you, end text. Do, do we ever get to go home, or are we now stuck forever in the void? Until we starve to death or die of um, dehydration. Yeah, you won the war, don't do it again. Fuck, oh, that was that afterburner knockoff, wasn't it? That was Spectrum, I think. I think this is it, guys. Ha! <laughs> Mentus. You killed my Dameron. Now you must be my Dameron. No, I don't think the text is stopping the fireballs. It's going behind it. It's got a lot of black um, ooh, character area behind it. Uh, did I just drop him? I don't know the answer to that. Oh, that's fine. Oh well. <sighs> yep, we've unlocked the screensaver ending, Eddie Boo. You're absolutely spot on. Oh well, game ends now. Yep, that's the end of that. <sighs> we did it, team. I remember this as being like fantastically good, but it is spoiled by fiddliness. Warrant fiddliness. Not completely spoiled. And admittedly, an awful lot of that fiddliness was me obsessed with getting that fucking um, extra the health thing from the bird, which I don't think is actually in the game. I think that is the 16-bit version. Yeah. Right. Oh, Joe's Deluxe is actually a screen burner. <laughs> so it burns in your screen and you can see your victory forever. So, uh, that is that. I think we should then next week something uh have a look at the 16-bit one. We'll just play through that with cheats because it's just no fun whatsoever. And then have a look at the C64 version, which appears to be an unholy hybrid of the two. Kind of want to know, actually, if uh, there was an Amstrad version. Oh, there was, but it is... It's basically a port of the Specky version. Uh... Okay.
Hmm. Has there been a quiz about copy protection? No, Squid Rejects. I did do um, a talk about it once years ago. That's on YouTube somewhere. But yeah. There we are. Are you a goblin of the C64? No, the C64 version. You've got on like a um, jeans and t shirt sort of stuff going on, I think, by the looks of it. In fact, it looks like he's got one of those American um, top things that you get for like NFL teams where it has like white arms and a coloured middle bit. Yeah, I'm sure there's a term for those, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. The weird thing is that um, copy protection thing I did mentioned Operation Stealth by Delphine and it turns up again in the Bad Puzzles quiz. <laughs> right. Okie doke. That was kind of great, but enough of that. Oh, Exelon is amazing, Valley the Barbarian. I had that on Atari ST and it's good on Spectrum as well, if I remember. Football jersey. It might be a football jersey, yeah. Not 100% what a jersey is. Right then. Let's get rid of this. It's gone now. Right. Okie doke. I think what we should do now is make weird huffing noises. <laughs> nope, it's not going down well. Clearly streaming is not for that. We just have an advert break in that case and come back and we'll look at some bloody assassins. Hmm. Right, I shall disappear for five minutes. You can watch these messages from the dim and distant past and then I shall return. Right. I'll see you in about five minutes. Cheers. Now there's a new hippopotamus. There's milk chocolate, orange chocolate, cherry chocolate, and raspberry chocolate. They're all so delicious, you've just got to dive in. Hippopotamus from Shambursi. Come on, dive in. Enjoy healthier eating with lean cuisine, low-fat dishes like zucchini lasagna, and new Kashmiri chicken curry. Less fat, more taste. Have the cooking something up with me. Findus Lean Cuisine. You wouldn't tackle a fire if you knew what was going to happen. In 30 seconds, your house will start to fill with deadly smoke. In 40 seconds, you won't be able to breathe upstairs. In 50 seconds, you won't be able to breathe downstairs. So you won't even have time to fill a bucket of water. Get out, get the fire brigade out, and stay out. and the first talking cereal leaves Kellogg's for breakfast tables everywhere. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Those crisp little grains of toasted rice are on their way to making a hit with families throughout Britain. Even Teddy loves that famous snack, Crackle and Pop. Sixty years on and they're still a huge favourite. To celebrate Rice Krispies' Diamond Jubilee, here's a great present. A model of the original Kellogg's van, free. <laughs> Beardies are full of fun, and they have a terrific zest for life. Champion bearded collie, Potterdale philosopher. Top bearded collie in 1985, seven times best of breed, a champion before he was two years old. I think the only way to replace the energy they burn up is to feed them good food. Pedigree chum and pedigree chum mixer. You've got to feed them well to keep them going. Good food to me means feeding pedigree chum. No wonder top breeders recommend it. Never wipe the smile off my face. With Mr. Sheen, I just fly around the house. Mr. 
machine, ready to ship the dirt, shield the surface, and put on a shine in seconds. Well, we certainly put a shine to that table. <laughs> I think I'd rather take it a shine to you. Ooh, that's great. I hope it wasn't just a flying visit. Mr. Sheen shifts, shields, and shines in seconds. Survival gold. It's the flavor of the future with a taste you might remember. Ah, mademoiselle. Perhaps now there's a sporting chance you'll tell me about Chambossi from Archefray. No. But surely, mademoiselle, this thing is bigger than both of us. So let's have the secret of that creamy, smooth, deliciously fruity taste, okay? Mm, no. Oh, I see you're enjoying the low fat from Archefray. How about giving me the low down on the low fat? <laughs> no. Right, mademoiselle. If you won't play ball, I'll discover Chambossi's delicious secret for myself. There's no <coughs> about it. When a chesty cough arrives, it does <coughs> to get in the way. It spells. <coughs> it can bring a <coughs> to your day. There's no other word for it. It's downright <coughs> Actifed expectorant from Welcome is specially formulated to help deal with all these problems. And it's available from pharmacists without prescription. So when you get a chesty cough, you know what the last word is. If your hair doesn't have it, your hair's got to get it, get strong, get flexibility. Flex Conditioner with balsam and protein protects against heat, builds body, shine. That's Flex Conditioner. Get strong, get flexibility. Flex Conditioner, part of the Flex Bodybuilding System from Revlon. This is my new turkey roast for two. You get up to ten good slices for only 99 pence. Bernard Matthews mini turkey leg roast. Beautiful. Bootiful. Yep. That that's a catchphrase for you. <laughs> Bootiful charmers. <laughs> With steamed hams, but it's a net bird <laughs> Matthews advert. Right. I couldn't resist it. There's some milkshake in the fridge and I've drunk a bit. It's probably going to be a mistake on stream because it gums all your throat up. Right. <clears throat> Did you get 13 slices but three of them were shit? Probably said this story before, but I knew somebody years ago who had bought a Bernard Matthews turkey roll. And it had a bit of a, like, biro in it or something, and they broke the tooth on it. And they had to go all the way through court. Like, Bernard Matthews would not back down. Even though there was obvious proof that this was in there and they refused to, like, do a deal. Went all the way through court and obviously... Post only one because, like, there was like obvious proof. It's really weird. Hmm. Ooh, vanilla tastic. Right. That does mean uh, this person, I think, had the legal right to run around shouting Bernard Matthews turkey rolls have bits of pen in them or something. <laughs> and she co couldn't be done for like um, libel anymore. But I can. So I say she was wrong. Anyway. Um. We had better get on and do a thing. Oh, I know. The story's got a really weird update on my phone. Right. It took me about five seconds to actually work out what it was about. Okie doke. I suppose there's only one thing for it, guys. <laughs> Let's rock. You better believe it. We're going to have one game of the almighty Orc Attack. And fail fucking miserably, because we always do. Thank you, Simmons Dude. Already, you have proven your superiority, Dave. And when it comes for the time for both of you to fight each other to the death, you will be given the sword, while Dave will be given the anti-sword. 
It was just like a knife without a um, handle that just cuts your hand. Was there a weapon like that in Demon's Souls, actually? Wasn't there, joking aside? Right. Really shouldn't have brought this milkshake. It's dangerously addictive. The anti-sword would be a sheath. No, that's the thing you put a sword in. It's a separate item. Do, 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 do. Got myself a rock. Great start. Right. <laughs> oh, where's the bloody sound? I can't hear anything. Hang on. Sound's gone for everyone today. Quickly, quickly. Oh, that should have fixed it. Yes. Oh, piss. I've hit too many things. Right, we'll start that one again. I don't have to faff around to get the sound to work. Mm. Cheers, Ellie, all over. Take care. You can never defeat my Bloody Mike Hind. It's the power of his nose ring. That's what does it. Right. Hiltless, that's it, Squid Reject. Yeah. He's a good weapon, if I remember. Let's rock. Concussion. Right. <laughs> you can never defeat mankind, the Mick Foley. God, he had some gimmicks, didn't he? Dude Love was... Uh... Him, wasn't it? Zacharias Black has got his, sorry, got their feet in a little spa and are eating tiramisu with a long spoon. <laughs> the three faces of Foley. Could you imagine if like Terence Malick did a film about Mick Foley? Oh, right, quickly. Thank you. Lovely. Oh, Noir says, too bad when the orcs fall. They can't fall on top of the others and knock them out. That'd be amazing. Mick Foley once appeared as Mankind, Dude Love, and Cactus Jack in the same Royal Rumble. Astonishing. Oh, God. This one looks physically possible, but too much running around to make it actually doable in the time limit. Zagreus Black, thank you very much for your sub there. Should you spell orc? Now nah, these are from 40k. This is set in the dark future. Even when it's not impossible, it's not possible. <laughs> Let's rock. That's his phone, sir. Fuck. Quickly. Bloody hell. That bastard got up the top, didn't he? Those gimmicks are acknowledged in the universe as gimmicks. Apparently Mick Foley. Oh, you never knew that. Oh, I just missed him down the bottom. Oh, no, I didn't want the sword. Yes, I did want the sword, as it turns out. Thank you. <clears throat> Not many of the smart bomb boys this time. There is a Filthy Rich and Cat Flap DVD, because I've got it. I can see that guy coming in. I can see, like, the sprite jibbling about on the right-hand side. Hmm, weird. Oh, 
Oh, he's climbing up the edge of the screen, Angry Ed. Oh, I didn't spot him until he got to the top, did he? Yeah. Let's rock. This game could use some random Wilhelm screams. Oh, Commissar Lufang's like something I would write with. Something only shows itself one time in a hundred. Like the original, um, oh shit, I don't the sword. Um, poor monkey animation. No, it was the second one. What is it? Uh, Naughty Heffalump. When it was a flash animation, when you load it up and play it, there's an extra weird mourner at the um, Heffalump's funeral at the end. And it can be either the Joker, Sauron from Lord of the Rings, or somebody else, and I can't think who. Um, and it's a one in three chance of any of them appearing. Oh, God, that's a bit too close. Oh! Ah, oh, bum. Damn you, Mike Hind. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell. My fault. Looking in the wrong area, trying to work something out. One keeping an eye on the top of it. Goon will do. Ah, oh, well. I reckon Mike Hind is the orcs accountant who has seized control of their kingdom. <laughs> I'm beginning to think we should have that orc as an emote, actually. Mike Hind emote. Well, I'll get on to that in the next 20,000 years. Right then. Did somebody just see at the bottom of the screen there, it said orc attack version 2.0. Now I'm wondering if there was a version 2.1 or something. Is that the one that was on a cover disc? I shall look into that. Because I think I got this off a cover disc. Probably Amiga User International or something because they had like a million things on each disc. And were such quality bastions of superb journalism. <laughs> Literally sued for plagiarism. Right. Okie doke. If only I had an intro for this. Oh, wait. I do. It is Los Assassininos n -n -s -n -s something. Okay, that's weird. Why is there still an orc attack? Reset. Thank you. Oh, we may be missing one game from... Yes, we are missing Mech Fighter, I believe, Miku Kasai. This is true. We did forget it in Punta and we never did Mech Fighter. You are spot on. There's a map editor. That bodes well. Where's the music? It was the wibbly tune, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. Squid reject. Do bear in mind that, that video was shot over 40 years ago. No, probably about 40 years ago, actually. So she's probably 65? Hey, it's not too old. Unless... She's taking driving lessons. The instructors hate it. Right. Mech fighter. Let's do this thing. Mech fight. It's not called mech fighter at all, you assassin twit. <laughs> Look how weirdly... <laughs> what a weird vibe to that picture. <laughs> the mech fight that nobody knows. Um, this program was created with the playmap routines by Florian Marquardt. Okay. What's your name? Oh my god, the keyboard's fucking crazy on this. I just pressed O once. Goon will do. You arrive in Beta X. Oh, the, the... Mm. Mm. Okay, how do we 
oh my god, seriously? The assassins made this look a lot more interesting. Weapon. Lurp, swerp. Good, excellent. Status. Good. Com. Command. Pustule. I didn't like it. Okay. Oh my god, I've just seen how Pustule got typed in. Is this supposed to be A500 speed and it goes mad on the keyboard all the time? Beta X landing computer. All systems okay. Status X minus 100. This is a table. Can we not control this by keys? Oh, which item do you want to drop? Uh, I don't have any. Seems to be some sort of keyboard controls as well, but most of... Why would there be keyboard and horrible clicky buttons? But not... Maybe you can use cursors, actually. Uh, does the girl in green at least have a wiki feet page? Good question, Squid Reject, but I'll let you do the searches on that one. Um... Yeah, I think the mech is human-sized. It's not a big mech, sadly. All right, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to turn off the keyboard joystick. And what that should do is uh, hopefully allow us access to the cursor keys. And yes! Do, 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 do. This is dull as piss. For humans, last air sector, do not enter landing bay. Oh, that's fine, we're not a human. Hello, human. No, he just walked out of the way. Beta X police station. Do you have any problems? Yes. Tell me. I... Bored. Well, I think we cannot help you. Sorry. Mm. No. Oh, fuck. The laser door opens. But only that one. I can open laser doors. Look at me, mother. He's got a gem or something. We can't have that, though. The problem with mech is, mechs are cool, and you kind of want to see a cool um, sprite for your mech, don't you? And we're seeing this overhead view of... I mean, basically, it could be just the letter W in a posh font, you know? Jimmy's Milk Bar... <laughs> Clipped itself there. Too much milk. That's your problem, Jimmy. Three way to bio garden. Oh, listen to this is the bio garden. Kabinsky restaurant. I would like to eat three Kabinskis, please. This is boring as fuck. Oh! We've gone travelled. Oh, now I've gone up some stairs. What? But then the stairs weren't there anymore. What's going on? Oh, God. Can I get a gun and, like, shoot something? Or I think we are going to have to see if they have some docks on this disc. So I am fucking confused. Just me to wander aimlessly. And aimless wander is not a cool game. Great, we've walked into a massive dead end. Brilliant. Right, we're going to have to reboot. Let's see what we can do here.
Right, text reader is five. I imagine there's going to be a text file for this. Mech fight. Ooh, it says important. Can we read important? The Assassins hope you enjoy the contents of this disc. Have you heard of the official Assassins user group yet? No. Then you've been missing out on some super money offers. Contact Stu or Bill on our BBS number or whatever. Okay. Mech fight. Oh, mech fight. Get that's just the title, right? Game docs. Yeah, gotcha. I do have to stop. Okay, game docs. Mech fight. Game docs. Editor. Oh, we can get the editor up. We're not interested in the play map editor. We're interested in the bloody mech fight docs. We. What? We've only got docs for the editor? That's the maddest thing since the bloody madness of King Bastard. What's going on here? Punter doesn't give you anything either. Forget it. All you can read is important and editor. Yeah, this is quite literally. Oh, you had to stop for it to read another. Yep, true. Yes, we now we can get back to Punter, the uh, slightly crap horse racing game. Right now, everything is working except these two. Right, we wouldn't normally go this uh, deep into it, but I think what we're going to have to do now is boot off the hard drive. Stick the disc in and see if we can find a file on it. <laughs> it's so intuitive, says Rotaranig. Our instructions are really necessary. <laughs> the one thing you want, Doctor, exactly, Nom Nom Fighter. Yeah. Right, let's insert the Assassin's disc. I'll pop up in a second. There it is. Oh, they do a nice. Ah, look at that. They've got a cool logo for the disc now. Look. That's in games 214. Public domain. Right. Okay, docs. There is literally a folder called docs. Visit dot doc, important doc. Insert. Mech fight. I think they may have forgotten to have um, put dot .doc on it. Hmm. Oh, since this is a copy out of the archive, I am going to allow it to write and it appears to have instantly killed the disc. <laughs> Great. I'll right protect that again. Cancel. Well, that did shit all. Um, oh, we've got to get the bloody... Is it PP more? Do we have PP more? Oh, no, the device is not mounted. That's fine. It's fine. Yes. Oh, God, where is this? Multi... Oh, I've got multi-view. That's a good one. Oh, -ho! that'll do nicely. Right, good work. Um, I forgot about multi-view. It's so intuitive! I've got no idea, Plutonia. Just what they um, do, I think. Just what they call themselves. Um... I mean, surely if it was a document, they could work it out. I'm going to force it through more, see if that helps. Um, which I remember being sort of less 
useful than PP more, but I could well be wrong by the looks of this. Hang on. The mech fight one here is clearly going to actually be... Morning, file maker contain binary, right, gotcha. Um, but there's only one mech fight thing on here which has any size, or in fact at all. So you know what that is? It's the bloody editor one, isn't it? Oh, God. Ah ha ha ha! doo do 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 do. It's got its own dock, but they haven't put it in. Can we see the editor? Has that got a nice? Yeah. Oh, look at that. PMN. I want to see if there are more. Um, no, nope, there are no more pretty icons. Holy shit! This is more difficult than half the puzzles in fucking myth. I think wasn't it? Oh. Mech fight is a role-playing game. You can explore a world, buy or find items, and fight against robots and aliens. During the game, you're asked to fulfill some tasks. The mech fight disc must not be right protected, or it will get stuck when it tries to save levels on the disc. Well, it can do that. Um, there are four arrow gadgets. The right of clicking on the mouse on the gadget launcher menu. Zero is destroyed. Oh, God. Okay. I hope somebody got some fun out of this game at some point. Yes, yeah, is the workbench, Dave Dog. Gem was Atari ST. Graphics Environment Manager. If you click on the right mouse button once, a menu will appear under the mouse cursor. Oh, ho, ho! We didn't know that. Where do you find stuff? What does debug do? Debug, not for you. Enter a number range from 0 to 100. It's <laughs> not for you, but here's how to use it. Oh shit, there's not actually much more to it. You've just got to wander around forever until you find something. Um, Dave Dog, the you're thinking of Workbench 1.3. This is 3.0 for the um, Amiga 1200. It's very similar, but looks a bit swisher. It is, it is obviously grey and not so blue. Uh, yeah, this is some keyboard shortcuts. It turns out you can get to them the right-click menu anyway. Hmm... Ha! Right, all is used weapon. That'd be in the fire anyway. Um, oh, oh, then new game. No, it doesn't load. Maybe the assassins have messed with it and destroyed it horribly. Right, we'll give it another quick chance, but I think this may kind of be bollocks. I do just love that, the saddest robot. Oh, you should join the Discord, Amiga Square. You can see pictures of evil things. Terrible movies and everything. Right. Uh, is the game going to start? I think we may have broken this disc image. <laughs> by, by daring to... Um, Try and bloody check something on it. Yeah. Oh, well. Great. I'm going to draw a line under this one. Difficult one to rate. You did make the game follow doc. Now, well, no, that was just the document, and it didn't work anyway. So, yeah.
Ugh. Fine, I mean, I could replace it. It's, it is no problem. But all the same, I think we're going to give up on that. I don't think that's going to be immense fun. I think it's going to be dull as piss. What is the top two? Uh, not as good as this, is the answer to that. Well, it gets a three, but not a very high three by the looks of it. Uh, it's going in above... Oh, no, actually, I was going to say below Jumpy. I think it's better than Jumpy. It's going in below the turn and above Jumpy. 214. Mech fight. No hats that we could see, which is not a problem. Um, and how do we describe this? Obtuse and cripplingly dull top down RPG with world's smallest graphics. In a tiny window. Blimey. Moogle Mania's Haiku Review. We are the robots. Tedious RPG game. Boring. Confusing. Ah, well. Never mind. Still better than a lot of things we've seen. <laughs> right. Oh, it's new disc time, isn't it? Shit, son. 215. I don't even know what's on this one. Oh, I haven't looked ahead. Well, I have, but I've totally forgotten. Right. Let's see what's going on. Do we get new music? I do hope so. Nope, it's this one. Mash the potato! Cybertris! Super Battle Zone! Yep. Super Battle Zone. Well, we, is it going to be Vector, do you think? Equinox. Mm, hang on. You know what I've got to do? Turn the bloody joystick back on. Oh, I nearly forgot. And we would have all been crushed. Objects? In rear view mirror, maybe closer than they appear. What if this is just hats? Oh my god, yeah! Filled vectors. Oh. Oddly, it starts. You can only go previous, so you can't go next. Your Amos routine is broken. No. Um, glad we're playing this in 1200. It's an Amos. It's got to be like that 3D extension for Amos, isn't it? First one was the Shadow APC from UFOs is angry at. I'm sure it is a coincidence. I'm not sure at all. What a popping in the audio. Loading. Please dance. Okay, suckers. Oh man, I've heard that before. Right. Oh shit. Oh yes, yeah, right, I've worked out the speed now. Okay, that doesn't seem to be a thing to do. What's going on here? Oh shit, there's another tank! Yes! Death to tank, boy. It's, it's the robo missile. The cyber sled. Nice. Yeah, son of a Twitch 82. Great intro sequence. Equinox. Right. 
Oh, I thought I sniped him then. But no. Oh, shit, son. Oh, we did it. <laughs> nice to hear from our good friend that explosion sound again. Okay, yeah. He's never far, is he? Oh! 83% damage. I could do without being damaged again. Oh, I think he got me. He got me. Press fire button to restart or, or control Amiga Amiga to reset the computer. Um. Oh, that was kind of shit. I'm going to be honest, did not uh, control well at all. You couldn't really do a whole lot except fly at them head on. Um, it's all very speedy and annoying and a lot of inertia. Not great. Not great at all. Not as good as webs. Arguably better than exatoms. It's better than fruit panic. Not as good as Doc Two. Right, it's going above fruit panic, but below Tron for a three there. Uh, two one five. Battle zone something or other, wasn't it called? Have a look at that. Three. No hats, tragically. Filled three... Benamos. 3D polygon-based shooter. Or polygon-based battle zone game. Controls are inertia crazy. Not really much fun. Mooglemania's haiku review. High-speed tank combat. Bounces like a rubber ball. Desert Storm. It ain't. Yes. Right. Done. Except I need to uh, double-check the title of it. Actually, I'm going to reset. By pressing Control, Amiga, Amiga. Like that. Dun, 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 dun. Cybertrius. Omega Square, yes, that totally came with this UCK. Oh my god, it is Queeg, isn't it? I hadn't oh man. You are I think you're spot on. Red Dwarf nicked effect. Right. Cybertrius, start game, next block on. Using a use keyboard, start level one. Oh go and show us the about. Roll up, roll up, and exit this section. We copied this from one of those hacking groups, because this exact thing appears somewhere, doesn't it? Right. Oh, fuck this for a game of soldiers. I'm off. Right, it's a Cena game. It's got Jets Minor Willy in the top left. Okay, it said it's keyboard. Oh, shit. This is kind of great, but I need to reset this. Because I should have selected joystick. I also forgot to... Um, Check Super Battle Zone. There we are. Pretty sure it's not the Super Nintendo version, but let's not worry about that. Cybertrius. Yep, they claim Tetris was easy to program in the text, so if they haven't done a good job, hmm. Oh, F5 doesn't do anything. You can only have music or sound effects. F5 just says use keyboard. Great. Right, so now I'm going to have to bloody turn the uh, ports off again. Right. Let's go.
Oh yeah, this plays well. What's the glowy bastard for? Piss. No, it's going to be the distance on that one. Yep, you can after nudge and slide them in nicely. Ooh! Shadow Khan has met Alexei Payetnov. Or Pajidnov? I don't know how to pronounce it, actually. Doubtless he looked exactly like Terran Egerton. Come on, we've got to be able to um, destroy one at least the weird glowy ones. Here we go, we get two of them. Oh, it's just bonus points or something? Piss. Should we put that the other bit, shouldn't we? Aha! Okay. Yet, but oh no, wait, that's probably not good. It's fine. Can I have a long one, please? Why do these infernal blocks tease? Oh, get me bored of this. Go on. Played a lot of Tetris, and better versions of this. I gotta say, this is not bad. The mechanics are spot on. Like, properly spot on. Which is not unique amongst Mega games. There are a lot of good Tetrises on the Amiga, but. But weirdly, none of them commercial, I don't think. Right. Just want to hear the sound effects. Yep. Grid is too wide and destroys it. You've got four singles, three double lines, no triple lines, and four quadruple lines. You use 64 blocks. Thank you. Sound effects. I've spotted a problem with the sound effects, folks. Oh, fuck. I'm going to get a line quickly to see if it makes a loud noise when it drops. You can't have a sound effects mode and then have no sound effects. Here we go. <laughs> there are literally no sound effects. What? Did I accidentally press it too many times? It turned it off or something. Yep, made some blocks. Okay, cool. Music on set. Right. Music off, sound effects on. Right, I got no answer to that. Weird. But Taranix says, well, the keyboard button also didn't do anything, so maybe this isn't finished. Yeah, maybe. It plays a decent game of Tetris, spoiled by having too wide an arena. Right, what good Tetris are we? I think we've done, like, the proper good ones, haven't we? Daxtron gifting a sub to Arcturus Deluxe. Thank you. How is your wife, Daxtron? Is everything all right? Uh, Tetris Pro... Oh, Tetris Pro is fucking brilliant. It's, like, one of the best home computer Tetris games until they went really turbo on the brilliance recently. Uh... There are barely audible thuds, says Commissar Lufang. I couldn't hear them in my headphones. So, uh, yeah. 
Amiga Square says there were three commercially released Tetris games on the Amiga. One had color cycling backgrounds that induced migraines. Sweet. One was a barely functional, hideously ugly disaster. Cool. And one had power-ups that overcomplicated the game to the point of extreme annoyance. There are, however, quite a few ace Amiga PD Tetrises. Few. Yes. Um, Tetris Pro is amazing. Uh, Tetron was much better than this. Hot Blocks was better than this. Tetrix was better than this. Twintris was better than this. Obsessomatic had the weird options. That was better than this. The last Tetris was better than this. It wasn't so wide. Um, Ditris was technically a nice idea to play Tetris, but you just both played Tetris at the same time, so you got the highest score. There's no actually interaction, and that's a real. Hmm. Ava Triss is arguably better than this. Blocks Blocks is pretty good. Te this is better than Tetris Digital. That was another two-player one with no interaction, but it was sort of a not particularly good one. Uh, that looks as good as Turbo Thrust. is better than push button switch which is the Othello game but not as good as Zinnick here we are right 215 uh, Cyber Triss 3 uh, how can we describe this um, Cena Tetris game basic but extremely well done Spoiled by play area being too wide. And of course, that is a yes for a hat, because mine and Willie there, we know, has on his hard hat for protection whilst mining. Success! Where's the hat button? The hat button, weirdly, has had the... um hat part of it removed that actually tells me what it is. I'm pretty sure it's this one though. Ah, sweet. Um, incidentally, if you look at something like the Sam Coupe version of Minor, Manic Minor where he's coloured in, you can actually see exactly how the hat works. Ah, Oh yes, we've got that. I think Game Boy Tetris we've seen. Yeah, we actually get the like the Game Boy on the screen. Moogle Mania's Haiku Review. Hmm. So yeah. Tetris seems to run well, bouncy tune. Sounds somewhat lacking. I should mention the music, actually. Cool music. There we are. Instead of put the better net for fucking reasons. Right, good. Elementium Egg. Thank you very much for your sub there. 50 numbers. Ooh, can I think of an arcade game beginning with Y? Oh, God. Hang on. Mm. Mm, I am not sure I can, I'm afraid. Uh, I feel there's going to be something. Oh, fuck it. I was going to say XXEs. That's literally NX. And that's an E, isn't it? For fuck's sake. Um, mm, are there any? Is it, yeah, Kung Fu! Yeah, Kung Fu Elementium Egg. Yes! There was an arcade version of that. The Spectrum was no port of it. We got there. Yar's Revenge, says Commissar Ludfang. Yeah, because that was an arcade. Oh, it didn't get Yar's Revenge. Uh, what Tom got? Yeah, Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, Beebus one. Now I'm questioning if Yar's Revenge was an arcade. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, Kung Fu. Took me a fucking while, though. Right. Daxtron! Gifting the gifts. Thank you very much for Gravity Gunner there. Or oh, Yukon. I've not even heard of Yukon. Sestrafeld. Bloody hell. Yars Revenge is... Oh! Yars Revenge is Atari 2600 only. Oh, there we are. Bloody glad I went for... Um, uh... Yeah, Kung Fu. I just remember that there's Yeah, Kung Fu is one of the games where there is a home only sequel, and it's fucking abysmal. 
Ugh. Next week, Strider 2. Right. Okay. Reset. And what was game number three? Yeah, we know there's a Yara Fu for arcade. Mm -hmm. The Spectrum one was a uh, conversion. Bum, bum, bum. But I don't think there was a Yara Kung Fu 2. Or if there was, it's not the same as the appalling home version. Mash the potato. Potato with an E on the end. Is that sick or is that... I've heard this music before. No, he spelled potato correctly. Enough. Oh, hang on. Got to have the joystick back on. Like, mm. Plop. Nope, that's the incorrect setup. That is the correct setup. Right, you die if the bomb hits the bottom of the screen. Holding fire makes it stick to the potato, and you can't move out of your lane. Can you throw this using inertia? No. What? Oh yeah, Bomb Jack 2, another one what Tom have done. Bomb Jack 2 was a, a Thundercats game that they just uh, reappropriate. As is quite obvious from the C64 version, where the main character still seems to be Lion-O. And it still quite clearly has the Thundercats theme playing. What is going on here? So we've got a bomb. We can't let it touch the bottom of the screen. What? You lose a life, you try. But you can't. What? 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 What's the game? <laughs> IQ review from Google Mania. Grab bomb, go to top. Drop bomb, run in traffic before bomb reaches bottom. Profit. Oh, is that it? Oh my god. Oh no, they kill you. Right, I think I've worked it out. You see that red thing on the left? Oh no, I've got your wrist behind them again. Oh, piss, I missed it. Oh, piss! It's really got to be really precise on it. Thank you, Devon B. How you doing? Oh, bugger. Bugger! I'll give them this. I think this may be original. I've never seen this game idea before. Or maybe they've copied it off like an obscure Auric game. I don't know. I like the way there's no instructions as to the really weird setup of what you've got to do. Oh, piss. Today was the day where we truly mashed the potato. Fuck you, potato. I'm sick of you and your stupid face. In fact, you've only got, I to say, one foot, but I think it might be a jetpack. Ugh. Gotta say, Graham Stevenson, your graphics are crap. Uh, this is quite nice, this bit. Um, your game idea is awful, and it's not particularly fun to play. But at least it's something bloody different. Especially with how many repeated fucking game ideas we've had on here. But unfortunately, <coughs> it ain't going to be very high up the list because it just ain't any fun to play, really. Uh... It's going below Wizard Wars, but above Hoser Backgammon. All right, 215. I think the character might be Mr. Potato Head and he has a hat. 
that <laughs> Bermisco is banishing Stevenson. Um, that sounds terrifying, Blair. We've seen many terrifying uh, puppets on this channel, and we're going to see more tonight, so don't worry. Um, is he wearing a hat? No, he isn't. Clearly not. There is no hat. Unless the hat is on his feet. I wouldn't put it past him. Um, mash the potato. Haiku review for real from Moogle Mania. A novel idea? That doesn't make it good, though. Why not try again? Mm. Right. Oh, plastic gets right at the bottom of the threes, but it's no fun. Gratarinik says, type Barcelona on the title screen for 99 lives. Amazing. We've got to do that. Okay. Uh, what's a good description? How do I want to describe this? Weird potato runs from left to right pressing buzzers and catching a ball before it drops game. Not much fun. Ah, there we are. Games on VHS, you're looking at Mash the Potato! Apparently I'm now the fucking world champion or something. New high score hype. Oh no. Can we go to get a thousand? Shit. One thousand. Done. Enough forever. My god. Squid Reject says Anyone ever see the for sale adverts in the back of 80s magazines? I wonder what happens if you call the home telephone or something. Um, you'll either get a disconnected number or somebody different living there. Probably. The button started moving. It has a bit, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that was... Oh, God, that's a bit spooky boy there, isn't it? Old panda eyes. Crikey. Well, there we are. That is now another Assassin's Disc down, plus one extra game. So, next time, Disc 216. 216. Which will feature, apparently... Uh, hold on, it's difficult to pass this page. Bomber 2000, Black Dawn 94, and Dice Zero. Is Black Dawn that um, captive-like game that's actually pretty good? I don't know what 94 is relevant to there, but... Wasn't that long ago we had that, was it? Hmm. Anyway... That'll do, pig. That'll do. And tonight, courtesy of P Beardy Viking, he sent me a video that I had seen before years ago and under how I had forgotten existed. Oh, God. And there's a reason I'd forgotten it existed. Because it is one of the worst things ever shat out of Satan's ass. I'm not joking, folks. This is genuinely, I think, the worst thing we've had as an ending song. It could even be the worst thing ever committed to video. I will say nothing else. I will simply play this. Suddenly, I 
the final line they sung there that's different from the original song <clears throat> I don't really understand that ah well at least it wasn't that long <laughs> oh god that was oh, bloody hell. the worst thing was they were all really good but the guy with the grey moustache wasn't as good as the others and he had that weird rictus grin and his mouth moved a lot and it's like oh oh dear Mm. And then the one after him was really good. The guy sort of smiled and moved his head a bit. Yeah, you know, oh, never mind. Anyway, um, I get the feeling we should probably play something else as a palate cleanser after that, due to its uh, monstrous nature. Uh, I have got another new one, but I think we'll save that for next time, especially because we need something that's actually good. Thinking about it, uh, let's have a think. Weirdly, do you know, all these years I have been doing these streams, the end uh, music stream is still marked down as quiz fail. Because the original idea of the quiz was somebody had to, you had to all play it and see if one of you could get all the way to the end of the questions, all 15 correct as it was back then, I think. At which point, uh, if you managed to succeed, you would get the um, bullseye you know, uh, prizes video. And if you failed, you would get a mortifying song. Hmm. Liebling's Fuck. Oh, Liebling's Fuck would be good, but I haven't got that handy. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go through. Bear with me. We'll find something decent. Oh, I found it immediately. It's fine, everyone. It's fine. We all need a little Winky in our lives. Incidentally, uh, Winkies were mentioned on uh, Saturday Morning Swap Shop or whatever. No, what was the one after? Saturday Superstore. I saw a clip of it recently. I must send that to Gannon. Anyway, here's a French song about a novelty product that was weird. Yes. <laughs> Est arrivé sur terre, pas de panique. Le qui communique, c'est le Wingy. Le Wingy Wingy. Le détailleur décolle de ton humeur. Si tes yeux pleuvent, une musique réchauffe ton cœur, c'est le Wingy. Le Wingy Wingy. Et toi, au père, il faut que ça bouge. Musique, feeling, ne reste pas au rouge. Le nouveau déclic d'un futur électronique. Le Wingy Passionné, puis énergique. Un look sympa, tu rêves de un sourire. Contact, contact, tu 
n'est pas bien. Mais toi, au oh, beurre, tu verras, tout devient clair avec Winky. Avec le Winky hum. Mais toi, au oh, père, il faut que ça bouge. Music, feeling, ne reste pas rouge. Le nouveau de King, ta future électronique. Winky, Winky, passionné, puis énergique. Un bouc sympa, tu rêves d'un sourire. Couleur qu'on a dit, le sourire de Marie-Lise. So you do actually see the Winky in there. The Winky is effectively the little animated character, but in real life it doesn't have arms or legs or any point. Mm. Right. Incidentally, hats off to a uh, screaming Pope who says, I had a Winky. My parents bought me one in Norwich. That's like the ultimate crossover of Cheap Show and Ashens right there. <laughs> right then. Still have its packaging. Oh my god, it says in the pack that Winky lives in his plastic on So Screaming Pope, um, you need to do a Google for a podcast from Cheap Show. Uh, well, the Cheap Show podcast did an episode where they really do a deep dive into Winky, and it is fantastic. They also do a proper translation of that song into English and sing it. Uh it's tip top. Mm. Oh god, um DC Flake. Uh, the Sir Killer Lot versus the Robo Babe. We've encountered that before and there was a problem with it i think it's highly yes i think it's highly smashed down by copyright basically cheap show episode 181 says rubber cat he's bloody right you know yeah yeah oh yeah if you haven't heard it noir it is excellent yeah it's a proper deep dive it is an astonishing story of madness as well um yeah it's more than one episode Kobasalu. i think you are correct it's like Oh, it's so interesting. Like, for instance, one of the um, weird promotional things for the Winky, which incidentally doesn't really do anything, um, this, people had to live on a billboard. There was a billboard with like enough room to sort of stand and move around on. People in LA, I think it was, had to live on it. They interview one of them. It's absolutely mad. Okie doke. Enough Winky. Say the Winky, say the Winky. I shall return on sunday doing other stuffs but until that happens um yeah they were up there for months says amiga square that's not an exaggeration those people lived on the billboard for months like like not you know we're not joking that was actually a thing that happened uh oh bless you daxtron 
We are sending all the positive vibes. I hope there is uh, nothing serious going on. And it is merely a fluctuation of the humours or something. Right. Let's get on with this. Who have we got this evening? We have... Oh, Beardy Viking. We've all got to go into Beardy Viking and call him evil for that fucking um, ventriloquist choir. Simple as that. Simple as that. Can't argue with that. Also, he's playing some Lily Savage, which uh, is relevant as poor old Paul O'Grady suddenly died, which is bloody awful. Thank you, Hershey23. <laughs> Random Latvian find. <laughs> which one was it again, Hershey Twin? Just make sure I've got a, Can you mention it again? I'll make sure I've got a um, note of it. One of the problems with not being able to see people fucking messaging me on Twitter is that's where I got a lot of the good songs from. Ah, oh, Bloody hell. Yep, congrats. Good work for... Um, to Simmons Dude. New mod person. Oh, right, Simmons dude, make a note of that. We might do that in the future. But tonight, I want Beardy to be abused as uh, he should be for giving us that ventriloquist thing. I mean, don't blame me for, you know, downloading it and cleaning it up and playing it. That's irrelevant. Irrelevant. Raid or lynch mob. I mean, sometimes there's not that much bloody difference, is there? Right. Take care, folks. I shall hand you over to Beardy in merely 10 seconds and hopefully see you on sunday and don't forget oll 23 is a coming up so that is a thing oh retire nick this is through multiple computers um phones ipads everything yeah we, we've tried all that passivari edgar's lippies oh good i think i've got, I've got a note of that somewhere and i can't write i'm gonna write it down again pavasara Edgar's Lipings. Right, I look forward to that. And by looking forward to that, I mean I'm living in fear of it. Right, <laughs> I'll hand you over to Beardy. Cheers, folks. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.